Starlink is an ambitious game, but just like other games in this genre, it falls short because it feels like a pay to win. The previous generation had Skylanders, this generation has Starlink. The game itself is good, it's just the trap you fall when you see that after you've spent money on the starter pack, you'll have it hard unless you buy the other weapon packs. To its defense, you can beat the game with just the starter pack, but it's gonna be more difficult, and thus less fun. You feel handicapped playing the game with only the starter pack, and when you see how expensive the other parts are, you're probably going to rage quit the game. But what is the game? It's a space exploration game with a plot. The story is presented in some high quality CGI and the story itself revolves around a cartoon villain and your crew that wants to stop the villain. Also each member of the crew is playable. If you buy the pilot, the starter pack has only Mason. If you want to play as the others, you have to pay for it. And if you open up your wallet to pay for the pilot, just know that you'll have the same ship, but with a different pilot. Because if you want another ship, you have to pay for it again. But the biggest pain of them all are the weapons. Pilots and ships are only cosmetic, but weapons are crucial. And if you have the starter pack, you have only the ice and fire weapons and the turret. There are more weapon types than that, and having them makes some boss battles a breeze. But you have to pay for them. And weapon packs cost almost as much as a game. I mean, sure, it's aesthetically pleasing and makes sense that if you snap a ship that looks like this, it should appear on the screen like this. But any space combat game that wants to be remembered as being awesome has to have multiple ships and multiple pilots to unlock. Not to buy, not to pay an extra game just for a new ship. This is a ripoff. Okay, now let's delve into the gameplay. The game is beautiful, you can free roam in a solar system and fly from planet to planet, land on planets, fly around, and you are free to do this as much as you want. Also when landing on a planet and taking off, you don't get a cutscene. Everything is raw gameplay, and I love it. Planets look diverse and have diverse life forms on them, each with different attacks and attributes. In the game you'll have to raid bases or destroy alien tech or fight bosses. Problem is, the mission structure forces you to do some repetitive grinding in some parts just to progress in the game, and that can take part of the fun. Still, the gameplay is nice, in the first part of the game, because later on you'll have pretty much the same fetch quests, scanning missions and dogfights. What you will have to do on the first planets is pretty much what you'll be doing in the whole game. Controls are smooth and feel good, overall the game depends on you if it's good or not. If you have the money to buy all the weapon packs, physically or digitally, then you will have a nice time in the game. But if you paid only for the starter pack, and paid a lot for the starter pack, then you'll have a harder time with the game and feel ripped off that you have to pay 4 times the paid price for the starter pack to get a proper game with stuff that a game should have by default, like unlockable ships or pilots. Still, it's cool that you can keep the plastic ship, it looks cool, but it doesn't justify in my opinion the lack of unlockable ships in the game, and by unlockable I mean unlocking them via activities in the game, and not unlocking them by your wallet. And I totally understand why the game should be more expensive, because it comes with a big plastic ship which is nicely built. But what I don't understand is why do two pieces of plastic cost 20 bucks? Ok, enough angry ranting about how expensive the game is. Let's say that you get the deluxe edition at a cheap price, or even better, for free, so you don't have to judge it in context. You don't have to judge it for how much you've paid for it anymore. You judge just the game. And that's it, the raw game. Then the game is really good, it's beautiful, has a decent plot, and the most important part, a good gameplay. Sure, it gets repetitive, but you'll still have plenty of activities to do, and getting story parts while doing the same things 
makes even the repetitive parts worthwhile. You can see attention to detail everywhere, from the animations on your ship to your ship reacting to the environment. It can heat up if it's near a fire for example. You, you can see the effort put into this game. So yeah, the game itself is really good. If you find it at a good deal, I recommend you to try it. It's repetitive, but it still is fun and it has a lot to offer. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.